this is an absolute honor. When we got this studio, I said, yo, I want someone in here. One, <laughs> please for Mary. Okay? <laughs> You hear the eagle? Exactly. <laughs> Two. That's it. That's him speaking. Yeah, no. <laughs> Don't talk yet, bro. <laughs> Two. I need someone with drip, like infinite levels of drip. Yeah, to the point where no matter where you are, if you're in a room with this dude, you're underdressed. Bro, also, if you walk behind him, you're going to slip and fall <laughs> because the drip <laughs> is insane. This man pulled up in Gucci sneakers. I wish we had kick cam <laughs> just for this. We got to invest in that. That'll okay. be the next purchase. And uh, the other thing I wanted is someone... Who, when they go on a pitch, is a little bit of a goon. Oh, my f- <laughs> You know what I mean? Someone comes in and says, I'm going to make the professional foul on my teammate. I don't care what jersey you're wearing. Exactly. <laughs> we are absolutely honored to wow. be joined uh, by the member of the U.S. Men's National Team. Just uh, flew in from Qatar. Did the double in MLS? <laughs> Bro. MLS Cup winner? Let's go. Ladies uh, and gentlemen, Kellen Acosta, everybody. Oh, man. Man, oh man, that's a lot of hype. <laughs> I, I, a lot of hype. You man. deserve it. I appreciate that, that's bro. Love. The first, obviously, the first thing we want to say is simply uh, just a thank you, bro. Bro, oh, thank man. you. Thank you for making America proud, dude. dude I mean, obviously, uh, just coming back from the World Cup, it didn't obviously work out the way we all wanted. But you know, the first insight to that experience of getting to play in the World Cup, what was it like? Shoot, I mean, it's kind of indescribable. Something that I've always dreamed. Try of real hard kid. because we're a podcast. <laughs> Try real. Okay, let me let me let me circle back. Let me circle back. Ah. Nah, but it's just like it was just like goosebumps, chills. It's just like you step on the field, you're like man, this is this, I'm living my dream. Something that I've always wanted to experience, and I mean, it was just incredible. And especially you know having my family there to experience that with me. And then just after the game, just the amount of just support and messages I got, it was just like everyone was watching. I'm talking about from. Like my first grade teacher sent me sent me a message on uh, on Facebook saying that we watched you so proud of you and it's just like man just like yeah. what crazy. what goes through your head when middle of the game they tell you to start warming up because that's like oh my oh my god <laughs> I'm like going <laughs> oh <my. laughs> yeah what what starts going through your head are you trying to warm out a little harder than warm up yeah. harder than everyone else I'm making noise on the side I'm like hey, co- hey coach <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, I'm ready. Yeah, 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 I'm loose. I'm ready. Yeah, pick me. Quads are feeling yeah. World Cup ready, coach. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Nah, it's one of those things where it's like, okay, you got a little bit more energy because it's like it's the World Cup. But yeah, like you're trying to get on the field, so I'm like, I'm doing my sprints and stuff, sprint a little bit extra. Right, you know. So when my name is called, like I'm warm and ready to go. Can you Damn. talk a little bit about this group because? Uh, we were talking about this on the show, it, it, and maybe because we're in the USMNT bubble and right. we're getting all the, you know, all the clips, the, the, the. We get hype. Yeah, yeah, we get hype. The features yeah. of fe- yeah. featuring all the family members, everything going on. Can you talk a little bit about this group because there's something about it that felt unique as far as the connection between between the players, even from you know uh, uh, players that you know, I guess. You know, weren't born in the U.S., but still felt that deep connection with the country. I don't uh, care what your accent is. You're American. <laughs> <laughs> but no, man, it, it felt so incredibly significant, a real a brotherhood and friendship that I, I don't I, I'm sure it, you, you see it in other in the other countries and the other teams. But there's something special about it. it felt yeah. Unique. Yeah. I mean, what you guys kind of saw from the clips and all that. I mean, that's real. That's love. I mean, that's our team. And I think we have something that's just truly special, like a bond. I think for a lot of us, we've kind of known each other for, you know, five plus years. And you're talking about dating back from youth national teams to, you know, obviously making all the way to senior team. I mean, I've known some of the guys since I was 13. I've known Weston since I was like seven. (laughs) People don't know that. Like, it's crazy. Like, we go way, way back. And then just when we're in camp, it's just natural. Just we we really just, you know, love each other, have a love for one another. Like, we, we really care for one another. On the field is definitely we're competitive. We all want to win, but I mean it's all out like I want what's best for you, and yeah. we truly feel that. And I just feel like I mean we just have a team that just truly gels on and off the field, and I think that's really just what's shown in our performances. I think that's how we are too, but obviously we're not playing. So like, <laughs> if, if we go to a pizza shop, Christian got my back, right? right? Yeah. And in the Same produce concept, department, yeah. I'm blocking. I'm moving other carts uh, out of the way for yeah, this. Yeah, dude, yeah. You know yeah. I mean, you know, yeah. I'm, I'm following the pizza guy if he doesn't <laughs> right. get his order right. I'm blocking the spritzer. You yeah. know what I mean? When they spray the fruit and vegetables, I don't want him to get wet, bro. Yeah. You know yeah, what I mean? Watch out! I got you. <laughs> yeah. Actually, we want to make you a little comfortable, so uh, we got you a couple gifts here. But we want you to decide: Did we do well? 
by you. Oh man, bro, yeah, you did. we do well <laughs> by our guy. We did yeah, it. You, we yeah. didn't get the peach rings. We couldn't find those. We can't That's find fine. the peach rings, and I make fun of him so much for eating smart sweets. It's like, bro, <laughs> if you hey. go eat sweets. Come down to the red to Jet Pop. <laughs> you know? Yeah, you're right. I mean, if I had to pick, yeah, these are the ones. We also got these Sour Patch Kids in a bag or bro, Takis. It's look, up to you, you guys bro. got the when, goods here. Yeah. I appreciate it. When I, saw, when I saw that you eat Smart Sweets and- The like, level of retribution this bro, man felt, bro. This dude makes fun of me all the time for eating like low sugar candy. Yeah. Bro. Because my wife is a nutritionist, so she my gets all the- My all, all the- all the <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Uh, you know, his big, yeah, super up, yeah. as I like to say. His <laughs> biggest hater, okay? Uh <laughs> so she started getting these smart tweets like maybe like two years ago. I'm like, yo, they changed my life. They yeah, changed you know yeah. how sad when you see somebody eating Swedish fish and enjoying it? You know how sad that I is? Know, I know. Imagine a healthy version a of healthy Swedish fish. <laughs> bro, come yeah, on. Yeah, it's kind of inexcusable. Bro. Yeah, you got to loosen it, up it, a bit. Yeah, it, I mean, if you go eat it, you got to go all the way. Right? It's like with me with bacon. You got, you're not eating turkey bacon. You got to eat No. Oh, you see, bacon. I'm a turkey bacon yeah, fan as well. No. Bro. Bro, this guy. How about you can't cut corners? You can't cut corners. You know what I'm saying? You got to go all the way, right? Yeah. If you're going to do it, do it. Do it. Pay the do price, it. but do it. Exactly. Okay, man. I didn't expect to be bullied by Kevin Acosta. <laughs> in front of your friends. I know. In front of your friends. I, that's love, though. Okay. I, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. I heard you're a big fan, so we went out and got this. Yeah, yeah. You. Feel free I to. Think, well, I mean, we'll open these. Feel free to grab. It also says resealable, so that after you eat one and feel disgusted, you can put that you back. Put it straight back. You know what I mean? <laughs> Just return it to the stuff. <laughs> no, uh, it's barely resealable. I want to talk. I want to talk real quick about the the, the game against uh, Wales because there was uh, obviously. A, a, a big moment uh, in the game, obviously a, a, a huge goal, but then the the, the foul. <laughs> I mean, look, the this professional foul. The professional. It was a it was a huge deal, right? Matt Turner's uh, out of goal, and you. I mean, you saw your teammate. Gareth Bale, uh, LAFC yeah. team, but you were like, nah, bro. All of a sudden, you put on all black low top Air Force Ones. <laughs> and you just came out. <laughs> you know, he got uh, one black uh, love and he came out saying. and did the thing, bro. <laughs> uh, I mean, obviously, look, literally the, the entire yeah. country was was proud of you in that moment. What it, but it, it must have felt a little bit surreal to, to just even be in that situation because it was pretty scary, yeah. but then to file your teammate on top of it. Yeah, I mean, it was just kind of just instinct. And I was like, man, he. You're not gonna score this goal. Yeah, right, right, not, yeah. not now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, so I was like, I, I gotta get him. Yeah, I gotta get him. What in that yeah. moment? What? Because I think the, of the two players that I think exemplify that on the squad is you and Luca De La Torre. For some reason, <laughs> you're like, <laughs> <we're> gonna, <laughs> <laughs> you both of y'all, you both of y'all, like, you, what, did I say it wrong? No, <laughs> no, I, I'm just waiting for the end of it. Yeah, because yeah. both of y'all are like, we're gonna play. But if someone does anything to one of our friends. We there. We, we're the, we're the yeah. last in line. But Luca's kind of scary, low key. Like I saw, <laughs> I saw one clip where someone fouled someone. And he just looked at him. Bro, <laughs> like, there's a there's a level. Like, I got like secondhand scared. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, <laughs> like it wasn't even at me. I want to go <laughs> Luca de bro. <laughs> <laughs> Man, yeah, he, he yeah he's he's scary when he gets but give you those you eyes. But you got that in you too. There's a, yeah. something that snaps, and I'm like, I can see it in your eyes. I'm like, oh, killing on one right now. Bro. Yeah, I'm all smoke. Right? <laughs> so, yeah. 100 full static is yeah. all you see. Yeah. Like when someone pulls the plug on a TV. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, Man. Yeah. Is and, were you always like that? Is that something new? Sometimes just you just like strike a nerve in me. It just kind of just comes out. Like sometimes I just kind of just black out, and <laughs> I don't even realize it. It just kind of happens, and I just get just angry for a second, and then so, it's just like just pure emotions, and I just yeah, like yeah. it's it's that's into it. It's that's like just, the Kill Bill screen yeah, turns yeah, yeah, red, yeah. you know? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> exactly. When you hear the whistle, you're like, I know, ref, that was crazy. You yeah, right? <laughs> yeah, it's almost like he snatched me out of it. Yeah. Like, oh, okay. We bad. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> and it's a beautiful thing though, because you got to protect your players. And as far as now uh, with the uh, with the World Cup being over for for the U.S. Men's National Team, uh, you know the, the the images. Obviously, a lot of the players, you know, sitting on the pitch. Taking in the moment for as long as possible. Uh, obviously, it was it was devastating to to lose against Netherlands. Absolutely. But the just the I don't know if you can give us a peek behind the curtain of like what what was the locker room like? Uh, you know what was Greg saying? And, and you know how 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 is everybody looking forward to twenty twenty six now? Yeah, I mean, kind of just in, in the moment. I mean, everyone's just disappointed, right? Obviously, we we wanted more out of the game. Um, that wasn't meant to be. But I mean, at the end of the day, I think when we kind of just reflected, I mean, we're super proud of ourselves. You know, it took a it took a lot to get to this point, and um, you know, only so many people are gonna be able to play in a World Cup, right, and have this experience. So it's one of those things where, like, it was tough because no one wants to lose. But at the same time, I mean, we we also just just because the group is so close, it's more of like 
this group probably will never be back together again. Not not all twenty six guys, right? Obviously, there's gonna be a lot of guys still with the with the next with the next um, cycle, but this specific group is is probably not gonna be, and uh, that's what kind of just hurt the most because we we wanted more just for for one another, and um, yeah, I mean that game was definitely tough, but um, it was definitely a learning experience. I mean, I thought we gained valuable experience. We gotta um, you know really test ourselves amongst the best countries in the world. And, um, you know, looking ahead to, to 26 is, you know, right here on home soil, something to, to really be excited about. And I know a lot of guys, when we kind of turned the page and we're looking forward to that. Um, also, uh, you know, when you look at the situation, the group you were in, did you feel a same, a same level? Because here, the way it seemed is like the game against England, there was a little bit of something to prove. Because they're always like, oh, it's called football, not soccer. Mm-hmm. And, you know, they invented yeah. it and they don't respect our players as much. But it does feel like something changed after that game. Even the way a lot of the pundits and some of the people yeah. that we consider our peers, like on YouTube and stuff, they started talking about the men's team a little bit differently after that game. I think we proved a little bit of a point. Did y'all have that chip on your shoulder as well, or was it just on our end? Yeah, no, I mean, for us, I mean, every standpoint, I mean, when you're playing against the world's best, you got to bring it. No, no, I I'm think. talking about England. Don't get <laughs> oh, dude. Oh, yeah. England specifically. Yeah, yeah I mean. No, not I'm the world's for, best. We're yeah. talking about England, yeah. bro. I'm just talking about this, this the country. They're in the World Cup, right? Yeah, so, yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. yeah, I mean, I mean, for us, every game, we treat it, every game for what it is. I mean, England is obviously a tough opponent. I mean, they're still, you know, they, they won yesterday into the next round. But um, it's one of those things where when we, we had to bring it, and guys were super eager and super ready for the game. And I think we gained a lot of respect um, in that sense just based on performance. And... It's one of those things where I mean, we kind of like internalize as a group. We kind of want to, you know, change the narrative of of um, our performances, right? Mm-hmm. People are saying how, you know, we, we shock the world, right? Like we we want to get to a point where it's a, it's a shock when we lose, not when we win, right? right? right. And I think that's when we can really turn the page. Um, and so we need performances like that, but obviously we want to get the result, get a win. But uh, but I think on a pause note, it was something to 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 to, to learn from, and I think we really got a taste of what it's going to take to to take it to that next level. Well, if you need any kind of like motivation, especially if you play England for uh, you know in the future in another big match, just think of what our comment sections look like Bro, when we post how, anything. The I English, the fat clown. <laughs> Legitimately, <laughs> seventeen hundred times. We mentioned that. anything. <laughs> we say anything positive about U.S. soccer, and oh, they're like, they, "Oh, we can be in, at, it. Our oh. comment sections are crazy. So if you need that motivation to get in there, like, yo, I want to support the Cooligans by being in England right now. Yeah. That's, that's why. it. Happy yeah. to give you that. Okay, I'll relate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you need a get hype comment section, <laughs> yeah. just read what they're Let saying me, about it. Let me just scroll. Well. Yeah. Let me just scroll. <laughs> it's a pretty disrespectful group that yeah. we have following. <laughs> what's the What's the get hype music for these games? Man, I mean, it just kind of depends. I mean. Drake just dropped, so he was Drake in twenty one. Yeah, yeah, I was yeah. right on cue, right, right, right outside. Right. So we were we were bumping out a bit, a little rich uh, flex. Just yeah, <laughs> rich, yeah. <laughs> um, what else? Future obviously is a good one. Mm-hmm. Set a nice toxic boy. mood. Yo, toxic mood, <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. you I mean, know, kind of like that. Nobody text your girls right now. <laughs> yeah, and then a big song, Nardo Wick. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. Nardo Wick. Yeah. yeah. Who wants smoke? Who wants smoke? Let's that go. Was, that was bumping for every game. Like, Let's who wants smoke? go. Yeah. It yeah. just takes a while to understand the lyrics. Yeah, it's not like he got water in his yeah, mouth. 100%, yeah, 100%. Yeah, no, he goes hard. He goes hard, He goes it's hard, not like though. he took the, the, the yeah. fronts off, but just kept it in his mouth. Yeah, he goes crazy, though. So that, Why yeah. he got a mouth guard while he rapping, bro? What's the deal? Yeah, I don't know, but he got a sound, and it, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. cool. It is yeah. full get hype yeah. music. Yeah, exactly. The one, the last thing I want to ask uh, at the very least, is just kind of, I'm curious about this. The 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 difference between just playing in um, any game, any, any club game or, or friendly or whatever, and then playing in the World Cup, as far as the the intensity of like every decision you make, every touch that you make, is that is that absent from your mind? You have to sort of let that go and just treat it like a media game? Or is it does it truly feel different, the competition, the the, the speed of the game? How, yeah. how much different is it than a... And knowing your ex is watching. <laughs> oh, right? <laughs> exactly, right? <laughs> As you, that little you, bit. You put on a little bit more, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sucking no, that gut, yeah. that's what I do. You, know? <laughs> yeah, you might not need that. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got my one leg up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, nah, I mean, I, I mean, it's the World Cup, right? So, I mean, everything's different. The speed of play, um, I mean, the margin for error minimal right I mean if you make a mistake it could prove costly and you know teams will really capitalize it on, on both ends 
So, I mean, it's one of those things where, I mean, obviously you treat the game for what it is, but it's like you got to be have a higher level of concentration and commitment and desire. And the game's all about little plays and about who can make the most plays in the game. And so it's one of those things where you, you, you got to be competitive in, in all senses and just be ready for, for what's to come and be able to adapt. I mean, I mean, you, you think like in these games are going to be glamorous and all that, but it's, I mean, as we show, I mean, the games are dog fights. Yeah, man. Yeah. All the way, I mean, you saw even we had like 20 minutes of extra time every game. Yo. We were stressing. Yeah, so, we, <laughs> so 90 minute hit, and you're looking over like 20 minutes. <laughs> bro. Yeah, bro, we've been running. I've like, been watching episodes of like, The Office right now. I'm like, right now. I'm like <laughs> yeah, I know. Like, Can we turn the AC up a little bit? <laughs> yeah. But, uh, yeah, I mean, like, I mean, those – like another half pretty much so i mean every minute matters every play matters so it's one of those things where i mean i can you know win you the game or lose you the game yeah, man. yeah, yeah. So i got one more question though but i do want to know and look world cup already happened all right you could reveal we're just amongst friends forget cameras like, okay <laughs> who uh, do i want to win no <laughs> no i don't care about that you're about to go in you're about to get subbed greg berhalter from jersey all right puts his arm around you what's he whispering in your ear i always see it. when i'm about to go in you're about yeah. to go in he puts his arm around you what are they saying <laughs> he knows he just said it in his head, and he can't say it out loud. I don't nah. care if it's cursing, bro. We got nah, it. Not <laughs> we'll put it over it, bro. <laughs> nah, not even cursing. He just like, just, just like go out there and be confident, play yeah. the game, and then just just whispers, just kind of just like stuff that he sees in the game that he wants, you know, the players to execute. Yeah, oh, shit. Nothing too crazy. I thought you, you wanted me to say something outlandish. No, yeah, no, yeah, I just no, don't no, know. Like, we want to know. Like, you know, go, it's go f them up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah As nah. comedians, every once in a while, we'll <laughs> yeah. talk to each other when we get on stage, and all my friends are like, "What do y'all say to each other?" Blah blah blah. And sometimes, like, yo, dude in the first row, talk too much, or you yeah. know, just simple stuff. I want to know if he puts his arm around you. He's like, hey, "Yo, number twelve got a limp, bro." Go get <laughs> 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 or like, don't yeah. take him out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah, yeah. Or like, yo, number ten says something about your family. Yeah. You know? <laughs> like, oh, oh, not for real. He said, "I didn't even know he knew your your mom like that." Well, yeah, we'll bro. Well, he just said you ain't got these, and he shows <laughs> yeah. me the shoes. He pulls up the John. You ain't got these. Three weeks before they come out, I'm on my ears right there, bro. I can see how that will get people. <laughs> uh, Kellen, man. I mean, look, the, the, the thing we want to say to you is that we're absolutely proud of you. Thank you so much for uh, uh, that. All, uh, look Appreciate the, the that. effort, just the energy, <laughs> just uh, just incredible what this group did uh, this time around. I think made the country very, very proud, and and you know it's awesome that that you were there and got to be a part of that. And you changed the perception of the sport in this country and all jokes aside if you walk away from that world cup we consider that a wild success because you could see it in the comments you could see it in the way people talk about the yeah. sport in this country it's turned a corner you all did that before the world cup even. yeah came. we want more i mean i think that's just momentum going into 26 and beyond i think I, hopefully everyone can, can continue that build the league here in the mls and just get more eyes and more people to really pay attention to it because i mean it's a sport we know and love but we want other people to love it as well. So oh, yeah. uh, so right. we appreciate those Come words. Come to Come to NYCFC, bro. Come on, <laughs> man. Bro, you, you man, New York, bro. <laughs> I need a fit in. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. He's, doing, uh, he's doing pretty yeah. well at LAFC. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, yeah, but you won already. Come to New York. <laughs> Y'all won too, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah. That, no, that was awesome to see as well, man. Uh, uh, Kellen, thank you so much for joining us. Yeah. You know what? Let's let's wrap. One just, for the road? Yeah, let's, one for the road. Let's share. I'm going to go trolley, bro. Grab one. Feel free. You don't want one of these? You want the help? <laughs> oh, Some old unsweet nice tea. <laughs> uh, Kellen Acosta, cheers, bro. I was I wanted oh, to I cheer. Mine, the my fault. <laughs> no man, yeah, we'll do another. I, I don't know if we're gonna cheers this day. That's no, we, I can't lie. Hey, look, mad sus. All right. <laughs> Thank you so much, man, Kellen. Peace, man. Cheers, yeah, appreciate you guys.